Many thanks for joining and I hope that you're going to enjoy this video. This is a two inch scale uh, burl traction engine. It was built from a kit, uh, a kit loosely speaking, and uh, it, took eight, it took me 18 months to build it in my spare time, mostly evenings and a little bit of the weekend. These are just some photographs of the some of the parts of it. You can see this is a two-speed gearbox on the side. Now we're going to start filling it with water. So this is just connected to a tap. And we're filling up. We're filling up the boiler from here. This is a water. You can see the gauge. It's a sight glass, and it just has a little bit of a red colour to it. So now we're going to close off the, the water feed and we're now going to feed, fill up the, uh, the water tank at the back. So this is a cold water tank that feeds into the boiler when necessary. This is the fire grate which I'm just about to install and you can see in a couple of seconds that there's a flap that opens up this is that allows the air to move in and out. I'm now um, starting to light the fire. You need to use charcoal here. Normally it's charcoal which is um, soaked in paraffin. This is the initial starting phase of the fire. Just using a normal type of fire lighter here. Now we need to couple up uh, an electric fan to the chimney. This is going to draw air through the, the fire. These are the oil reservoirs for the main uh, the crank, crankshaft journals. So I'm just dropping a bit of gear oil into there one on each side. They're oiled by via a wick. Now we can see we've got some fire going, a bit of heat inside. So now we need to add some coal, just bit by bit. Actually this is Welsh coal, Welsh steam coal they call it. You can see here we've got a leaky whistle, but this is pretty normal sort of stuff. When you don't, when you haven't got enough pressure built up, things tend to leak. Here you can see the two-speed gearbox, which is manually uh, selected, and then also you can see the differential. You can see we haven't got much steam yet, so we need to uh, work on that a bit. This tap is a, a water pickup and sends steam through a venturi so that the, the machine can lift up its own water from a pond or whatever. This right hand tap sends steam to a special valve and it's, if you ask me, it's witchcraft. It, it drives water into the boiler. Here we've got the steering wheel. The, the, the engine dro uh, works with chains and a, and a gear system which you can see rotating. This is a Stevenson, called a Stevenson joint and it allows you to cleverly control the amount of steam that's consumed by the, by the, um, the engine. You can control it using this lever. This is the cylinder block. It has a double acting piston inside, so it's fed steam from both ends. 
The copper tube is the exhaust for the cylinder. This is called a check valve. It allows uh, water to go into the boiler only one direction. This is the water pump which is driven from the crankshaft and sucks up water from the cold water tank which you saw me filling earlier on. This is the throttle. This is the parking brake. These are the cylinder drain cocks. It allows to remove any condensated steam from the cylinders. This is a little valve which allows you to pump steam into the chimney. We're now removing the, 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 the electric fan. And now we're going to pump the steam into the chimney which is going to draw on the fire. Now we can agitate, the, stoke the coals as they say, and um, we can probably add a bit more coal. Normally it's bit by bit, not to overload the fire with too much coal. Just some general oiling. Yeah, we're up at about 50 pounds per square inch now, which is quite good. And you can see that the fire seems to be going well. Now we're up to about 70. These are the safety valves. They'll they'll lift off a bit later, I think. I think we can hear the uh, the intensity of the steam now. Yeah, we're approaching 100 pounds per square inch now. And these are the safety valves which are now lifting off. Just going to push the throttle forward a little bit. And look, we've got to start straight away. You can see that there are many, many parts that move around and it all gets a bit busy. So we've got things that are driven off the crank, we've got an oil feeder for the cylinder, which is the, the, the little box, which you can see there, called Foster. That pumps oil into the cylinder, special oil. They say that the uh, the quality of a build determines the, the ability of an engine to run slowly. So the higher quality the build, the slower it can run. This one runs relatively slowly, I would say I've seen slower, but it's not bad. I'm just engaging the, the water pump, so it will now be pumping water through this check valve, which will be filling the boiler.
just topping up the uh, the oil feeder this is called steam oil it clings to the side of the um, cylinders and doesn't allow the steam to wash it away This is quite a respectable slow speed, it's quite satisfying to watch. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And uh, just to show you a few little, a short run on the floor with the machine. Thanks for watching.